behind the stage, right? And so he's like, look, y'all can't go on because there's bloods that identified themselves here and there's crips that identify they self here and y'all got crips and bloods in y'all group. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And Max is all flamed up and Dub got on all blue. He said, y'all go on stage, it's gonna be a riot. And I said, if y'all these niggas don't go on stage, it's gonna be a riot. Yeah, yeah. Because they came to see them niggas, they got planes flying around saying bow down and Westside Connection flying around and the world is mine, nigga get back. Don't with my stack. The gauge is racked. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you this, man. What did you think? The big thing that happened here months ago was uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake. And that was your... I mean, this is Kendrick. He's from Compton, of course. Right. Um, just, Amigo Wood. Just, yeah, but just just that that beef, that way that they did that, the way the blows were being thrown in a battle, like the way that just the, the rhyme for rhyme, talking about him, calling him, maybe hitting below the belt, pedophiles and all kind of stuff was coming oh, Kendrick's out. song. Uh, Kendrick, they, they, yeah, they not, not like, like us. us. Hey Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to sell black one. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. Like, what did you think? Was that below the belt or was that hip hop? That was hip hop. That was hip hop. That was hip hop. That so, was hip hop. What do you think That's about dissing. that? That's dissing. That nigga, that was dissing him. That was hip hop. I'm pretty sure if if Kendrick and um, Drake saw each other somewhere, they, it, they wouldn't be fighting. They'd be like, you got me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. Kendrick lit his ass up. But somebody got shot, minor. though, Clear. Payback. Somebody got shot. Well, uh, what, in Canada? <laughs> yeah, somebody got shot. Hey, man, that ain't got nothing to do with somebody Kendrick. Somebody got was, shot. Look, if Kendrick can have the form, Full of Crips and Bloods together. He brought everybody together. Nigga, that was beautiful. I had niggas calling me from the pen crying. Niggas got 40, 50 years, lifers, you know what I'm saying? Crying, they were like, they had never saw, thought they saw that shit, you know what I'm saying? I, it, it was, that was beautiful, man. They all came together, took pictures. That place back in my area, 90s, would've been shot the fuck up. They wouldn't, they, wouldn't even, they wouldn't even start the show. It would be shot the fuck up. Give me an answer again where you where people tried to come together like that and things didn't go the way that they should. Yeah, all the time. Like I went to a, uh, I was with, I was backstage with West Side Connection. Okay. At, in Irvine, that's about forty miles south, in between L.A. and San Diego, at a beat at a ninety two point three to beat music fest. I forgot what they call them. And so, all day was like. Somebody come on stage and then the grape streaks start throwing up their shit. And then next you know, some some essays is fighting them and the fight break out. Security gotta break everybody up. Every like 30 minutes, a big ass fight was happening. So the promoter dude, who uh white dude was like, So West Side Connection, we pull up in the van behind the stage, right? And so he's like, Look, y'all can't go on because there's bloods that identified themselves here and there's crips that identify they self here and y'all got crips and bloods in y'all group. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And Max is all flamed up and Dub got on all blue. He said, y'all go on stage, it's gonna be a riot. And I said, if y'all these niggas don't go on stage, it's gonna be a riot. Yeah, yeah. Because they came to see them niggas, they got planes flying around saying bow down and West Side Connection flying around. And the world is mine, nigga, get back. Don't with my stack, the gauge is whack. And they like, y'all ready for West Side Connection? They coming up last. They're like, oh, going crazy. I said, he's like, what well, the dude said, man, I don't want y'all showing up. As soon as he said that, he had already told this chick, uh, Dominique Dupreme, one of the DJs, to go up there and tell everybody that they ain't performing. Mm -hmm. Man, she said, how y'all doing? And everybody's like, ah, we still got both thugs in harmony. Ah, we got such and such. I'm like, ah, yeah, I got a little bad news though, you know, Westside Connection ain't performing. And everybody's like, huh? <laughs> what? Boo, but we still got, we're gonna turn up, we're gonna have fun. They was like, boo, they start throwing shit out of us, start throwing, wow. you see shit here, you hear, psh, psh. they throwing water bottles out of us, she start walking, next to she took off running, you see the, I'm standing behind the stage, I see the whole crowd stand up, I was like, oh shit, they tapped that van, them niggas cubing them left us. Oh man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mashed out, you know, with a big old V8 van here, they go, the exhaust yeah. they them niggas bone. The hell out. Love this. And before you know it, the whole, it's about like from here to Palms to get out to that, that's that building. Mm -hmm. It's a good quarter mile from that stage to walk through this whole path to get to the parking lot. It looked like a jail fight. Wow. It was Crips and Bloods for at least a quarter mile fighting like a mother. Wow. wow. Crips and Bloods. Blood. Deep. Everybody fighting. Two or three hundred more fighting. So I had to run along the little fence. Like I was me and my homeboy. We was. 
We was ah, nigga, high knees. Nigga, we was running like a diving over niggas and shit. And we had to run across the street under the freeway to get to the, where the hotel was. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.